Now we'll go ahead and mask on the inside here and do black. And then where it comes back around, this is where this part will um, stay blacked about right here. And then it'll go back into white on the top. Alright, we got our next one mask off, and as you notice, I went ahead and put some 2 inch tape out here because I did have a little overspray. So, off camera, I took and spotted this in with silver. Um, I normally don't put anything other than a 3 quarter, but because of the angle of this fender, it oversprayed out here. So, let's just use 2 inch tape to be on the safe side. Okay, this top part of this flame is white, just like what we did here, and then as it comes around into this part right here, we're going to use black. Now, I'm not just covering this in solid black. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a light coat over everything and I'll do some um, darker spots here and there. That loud noise is where I went between the fender and the door. I'm just putting the mist coat over it to begin with. And we're going to go about into the center of the bevel right there. And do some streaks. Again, that's where it meets the fender and the door. Okay, now we're going to grab our black. Do the same thing with the mist coat. Blend it into there. Now I'll go a little bit darker. I want it really dark on the tips. Remember, if you're doing this on a darker color, like this, say for example, this car was black instead of this red color, you wouldn't want to hardly do this black at all. You'd actually want to mix a little bit of white with it. Just so there's that contrast. I'll blend a little bit of white back into it. And then just a little bit of black over it. So there's that transition look. Now instead of throwing this tape away, we're just going to peel it off. save it if I don't wad it all up here. Like that, we'll save it for the next part down here. Got it all unmasked, now I'm going to take some of my black and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of shadowing. That's about it. I over reduced my black about 200%. Well, as you guys can see, I showed you how to do the flames. Now, what we're going to do is get ready to apply a clear coat to this. Now, this whole job takes about 12 hours. It's about a $1,500 job for what I've done here. Um, everybody asked me about pricing. There's my pricing. I just told you. Um, we did a bevel edge flame on this, and we're going to clear it, and then we're going to color sand and buff it after that tomorrow morning. Um, it's about 4 o'clock this afternoon. We're going to clear it, let it dry overnight, then color sand and buff it tomorrow. Now I have a um, video called Complete Guide to Paint Your Bike, Volume 2, which has on that um, Volume 2, it shows our whole system of how we color sand and buff. The whole procedure as far as the sandpaper, the compounds, everything. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my website at fullblowncustoms.com. Until next time, take care.